yeah, what, uh, what, what, what we do is that we bring out topical issues on consumer protection, and bring out topical issues on stock standard products, and we educate the consumer on how to identify, how to uh, report, and how to assist not just the council, but the entire Nigerians to remove uh, soft standard products from the market. So a lot of other activities that we're doing, such as um, even enforcement, you know, of course, because you cannot, having done all this, you cannot be able to remove without enforcing. So exactly. we enforce from the, we enforce our laws, and where necessary, we also penalize companies that have uh, been found to, to play uh, below the standards. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the activities that we are doing, and much, much, much more. Okay. to address the issue All of right. substandard products. You find in the marketplace different agencies. As it relates to consumers, what distinguishes the consumer protection from similar agencies in the marketplace? Are they working alone? Is there some sort of synergy or is there a collabor collaboration? Well, there is, uh, there are, as you've said, there are various uh, agencies out there, you know, but basically every agency is actually doing consumer protection. Yeah, because um, if you look at um, the laws, they are all geared towards ensuring the welfare of citizenry, the welfare of consumers, the welfare of those who have spent their money to purchase products and to purchase services. However, what distinguishes the CPC from the rest of them is that, uh, I, I say two things that distinguish us is that we are the only agency empowered to bring redress to uh, the consumer. So that stands us out. So uh, whatever any other sector regulator does, they can't give you redress. So we are the only agency empowered to give redress to the consumer. That's one thing that stands out. Another thing that stands us out is that we are the only agency empowered to interpret all other laws for post of consumer protection. So we can pick up your law, interpret it, and use it to enforce consumer rights. So these two things stand us out. In terms of synergy, yes, there is a lot of synergy. You know the marketplace is uh, made up of several sectors and each of these sectors have what we call sector regulators so you must be able to interface with them to be able to regulate their various sectors effectively uh, let me just uh, give a little example if you look at the advertising sector there is a regulator for them but of course cpc must come in to be sure that what you're advertising to consumers are right and correct so that way we come in there so there are a lot of other sectors talk of the aviation sector yes they also have a regulator, but of course the council must come in to be sure that what you're offering consumers in that sector meets uh, the stipulated uh, standards and the codes of practice. So it is in the food and drug industry, so it is in the um, what we call the nuclear regulatory sector. You know, so CPC partners with all agencies. There's a synergy because without synergy, it will be very very difficult to regulate the Nigerian market. Uh, of okay. course, we, yeah, you know we have a large market. I, I, I dare to say that the number of staff of all the agencies put together cannot even regulate our market effectively. Mm -hmm. So without synergy, it would be very difficult to achieve. So CPC is constantly engaged in collaboration, engaged in consultations uh, for the purpose of ensuring that Nigerian consumers get a fair deal. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Oko. It's been a delight having you on the program. Thank you. We'll take a short break, and when we return, we have a special report from an enforcement exercise carried out in Oka. Also, we have an update on CPC's activities as well as Consumer of the Week. Stay with us. Bread, being a simple and affordable kind of commonly preferred artificial food, has a great demand rate in Nigeria, as this, in no doubt, has made bread making one of the lucrative businesses in Nigeria. Nutritionists maintain that freshly cooked food can become harmful to health after consumption when it is not hygienically prepared and packaged. In view of this, the Surveillance and Enforcement Department of Southeast Zonal Office during its surveillance exercise on various bread industries, unveiled some unhealthy practices engaged by the bread bakery workers, such as not wearing hair nets and filter masks during the production process of bread, needles carrying the bread dough on their shoulders, with the dough having direct contact with their skins, working in an unclean environment, and the use of potassium bromate in bread production. 
In an interview, Dr. John Onora, a food scientist, stated some of these healthy practices which should be observed by the bakers during the production process of bread so as to serve the consumers a healthy product. The guidelines also uh, concern the way the dress. Um, everybody co covers their, their hair. The, the ladies do not put on lipstick. Uh, the, the, their, their fingernails are trimmed and uh, you don't um, talk over uh, the bread you are making or selling. Anytime you leave the bakery, you are supposed to wash your hands before you come in again and dry your, your, your hands. And then uh, you don't come in with the shoes you wore outside, okay? Uh, this is to avoid a uh, transfer of um, disease germs and other foreign matter into, into the bakery. The Consumer Protection Council, through consumer awareness campaign and enforcement, has been fighting to ensure the compliance to these good hygiene practices by the bakers. Mr. Daniel Ebuonu, a food scientist, advised consumers on what to know while buying bread. Color, which must be golden brown, the structure, uh, which must be, if it is a uh, loaf, it must have a very good uh, equal rectangular shape. But you may not ascertain whether this bread is so fresh in terms of uh, age, because um, if it has started growing muko, or if it has an awful odor or a sugi appearance, you know that this bread has started deteriorating. Always remember that healthy consumers form a healthy nation. An informed consumer is the best protector of himself. So be informed.